our elders and apostles of great Nielsen are doing well, the salutations and blessings to you, Akim, that are pushing this word with truth, sincerity, and charity, and risk your lives to do so. Uh, can, can somebody grab 2 Esdras 15 and verse 1? This is, uh, this is uh, 2 Esdras 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Right, this, this is what Yahweh Shemal Shai has sent his prophets out here to do. All right, we are the true prophets of Yahweh Shemal Shai. Not those guys in the Christian church. All right, they're not telling you prophecy. Only thing they're telling you is, hey, have a good time. Pass around that tie, basket, pay more money. All right, live it up. God forgive for anything that you do. No, the true prophets are going to tell you prophecy, man. All right, what's about to happen? What's about to happen to America is going to be destroyed. For ICBM nuclear missile fire. For all the wickedness that we done in this era, as it's uh, going to go into in the chapter, all right, the Lord's going to set blaze on this place. For all the wickedness that's going on, you got men want to lie with men, women want to lie with women, okay? You want a, a women to be open men, and, and, it's, and it, the list goes on and on forever, man. By all the wickedness that's going on inside this kingdom. All right, and, and we, we have to prophesy this to our people, the right. so-called Negro, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Because this message is for you first and foremost. That's right. It says, verse 2, And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Right, which is this holy Bible. All right, this word is faithful and true, man. This is all about the inspiration of Yahweh Shem Al Shai. If anybody wants to grab this, uh, Second Timothy, I believe, that this is giving back inspiration of the Lord. This is not some man-made book. Right? People like to say this is the white man's book. If this is a white man book, why why he's preaching his own, why would he be preaching his own downfall? That's this is right. all destruction. This That's ain't right. his book, man. This is our book. I got you. That's right. That's it's uh, 2 Timothy 3 and 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Alright, you look up the etymology of that word inspiration. This, this is this is all through the spirit power of the Al Shemal Shah, man. Hey, we didn't come out here on our own accord, you know, to push this word on our own accord, man. We break these scriptures down to our own knowledge. This is through the spirit power of the Al Shemal Shah, man. That's right. This is uh, go, go to the etymology on, on that. Uh, Etymology of inspiration, immediate influence of God or a God, especially that under which the holy books were written. Yeah, that's right. So that's what it, that's the true inspiration. It's a direct influence from Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Right, this wasn't done through no man and none that. These words are true. First John, um, the second chapter. So somebody want to grab that real quick. It's, uh, First John 2, like 21. All these words are true, man. Ain't no lie this Bible. So everything that we saying that this place is gonna be destroyed, plagues are gonna get hit. Uh, plagues, this place will be hit with plagues. All right, famines are coming, and we see all these things on the rise, man. We see destruction on the rise every day. <laughs> this is all uh, First John two and twenty one. I have not written unto you because you know not the truth. But because you know it and that no lie is of the truth. Right, there's no lie of the truth. And what is the truth? John 17 and 17. It's the word of the Lord. Huh? Word, the words of Yahweh Shem Al Shai is the truth, man. So there is no lie of this Bible whatsoever. Okay, right here. This is John 17 and 17. Sanctify them through that truth. That word is truth. Right, that word is truth. The words of Yahweh Shem Al Shai is the truth. Right. Okay, so whatever these people say, it don't fucking matter, man. Right. And you got you got uh, average Joe niggas saying, "Oh yeah, America's not gonna be destroyed in my time, in my lifetime, where it is, man." Look, 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 look around, see what's going on. All right, look around, and see what's going on on the earth. We we are studying these things. We watching the news every day to see what's going on on the earth. All right, you got Russia, Ukraine, uh, warring warring against each other. All right, you got the Ukraine coming back into that superpower mindset to be a, a dominant force on the planet Earth. All right, so what do you think is gonna happen? They're gonna come up against America and they're gonna destroy this place. If I may uh, say as well, because what we were just reading in 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter, it says, uh, 
cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful with truth. Hey, all these prophecies are coming to pass, and there's more blatantly becoming a, a, a reality that these scriptures are, are, are true, man. That these prophecies are true, that the words that we're speaking are true. And it's not our words, but it's the words of the Bible, man. You see? That's why going back to that John the 17th chapter, that's why it says sanctify uh, them through thy truth. Thy word is the truth, that they may believe through them through thy word which you have given them. See, the Lord has given unto us this word, and now we're giving it unto you, so that, Lord willing, you repent and come back to Yahweh Shem Yahshai, because you see everything that's going on in the world. You see the dollar crashing. Hey, Mexico just joined BRICS. Jamaica just joined BRICS. Hey, yup, Egypt, damn, Egypt just joined BRICS. Hey, all of that is going to tie in to the economic collapse of the dollar, which uh, America, everything is tying into the MOTV, man. Right, right, and we're right. telling you all of this, so that you people can fucking repent and come back. But y'all, y'all, y'all are gonna take the mark, man. The book of Habakkuk, chapter two, verse two. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables. That's right. That he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. That's right. So this, this word is not going to tarry, man. It's going to come. It's just set for an appointed time. So when people say, hey, this hey, this, this hasn't happened yet, that hasn't happened, y'all been saying this for this long and that long, it's coming. It's coming. It's, it's just for an appointed time. These words are true, man. And now you can literally see it, man. You know, you know what's crazy? Like for years, you know, Aaron Maki used to say back, back in the days that we're close, we're close. And then a year go by, and hey man, we're really close, we're really close. And, you know, and then the other year will go by, and then another year, and you know, it, it, but, it, but you know, when you actually out here, you prophesy, it makes you more patient. That's why the elder just read that scripture as far as point in time. Because all those years when I first came into truth, I was like, yes, let's go, let's get something to happen. And then another year, and then another year again, but it's all in the Lord's time. So you got to be patient, man. But now, oh my goodness, bro. It's literally fucking happening, bro. Like it's literally like, like, like you can really feel it, man. Like America is crumbling, this dollar is crumbling. These motherfuckers are literally holding up, like, yo, we really finna leave these niggas off. We really finna leave America, bro. You know, I mean, all these nations are gathering up, man. You know, and they, and they're saying that the we are saying they're strong now, man. They ain't really making threats to America. Like, we'll, we'll go to war. What, nigga? Like, no more pump like, we'll really, we'll swing on. Uh, really happy. This is all, like everything y'all just said, this is all. Ezekiel 12 and 21. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel, saying, The days are prolonged and every vision faileth? Tell them, therefore, thus saith Yahweh. I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel, but say unto them, the days are at hand, and the vision, and the effect of every vision. So hey, there you have it, man. Hey, hey the mentality of Jake is that the Lord is prolonging the days, that hey, these prophecies, hey, they're failing, you know what I mean? So we could live it up. They don't have a lot by ten. Right, right. Hey, that's the whole reason why the Lord, uh, uh, in the book of Habakkuk, he was uh, 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 rebuking us, man, because what? While everybody was chilling in their own houses, the house of the Lord laid waste, man. That's why he told us, uh, uh, consider your ways. Because while the house of the Lord was laying waste, everybody was doing their own thing. That's what Jake is doing right now, man. Everybody's doing their own fucking thing while the house of the Lord is laying waste. Nah, man, now it's being built up. Hey, the Lord said that he will uh, 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 close the breaches thereof. That he's gonna raise the, the tabernacle of David as the days of old. So that's happening right in front of your eyes right now, man. The, hey, the, the Lord is causing this problem to cease in Israel, man. This proverb is no more, it's not here anymore, man. They can't say it's not gonna happen in our lifetime. It's happening in real time. You see? It's the book of Romans, chapter 3, verse 3. For what if some did not believe, shall the unbelief make the faith of the most high without effect? 
So, hey, man, all these words are, 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 are true, man. All right, and it will come to pass. Whether Jake believe it or not, man, whether they say, oh, yeah, it's not going to happen in my time. Well, oh, yeah, it's not in your time, man. Oh, yeah, Donald Trump is, uh, man, all these countries are, are, are going up against America when it comes to this damn economy, all right, join the BRICS nation, all right, join the cryptocurrency. America soon will be in cryptocurrency very soon. It's about your damn doormat, all right? Before you walk in the crib. Verse 4. The most high a bit. Yeah. Let the most high be true, but every man a liar. As it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sin, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. So all the words of the Lord are true, man. All right? And everybody's a liar, man. We still get this word that we're speaking unto our people. I got it. This is all. Second Ezra 15. I'm going to start off at verse 3. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Yeah, all the disbelief that these people have, the imaginations that these people have, man, America is going to go on for 50 plus years. Are their kids going to grow up? They're going to see their grandkids. They ain't going to see none of that shit, man. All right, real soon, people are going to be eating y'all kids, man. All right. All right? And people think that the Lord is a joke. They think that the prophesied joke, they think that all the things that we say is just, is just a fairy tale. We just out here for no reason, man. Right. This is really happening. This is really coming. Right. right? And we don't care about what you people say. Fuck what these people say, man. Right. Fuck how these, people, how these people feel and fuck what these people believe, man. We got the truth. These right. people ain't got shit. But, 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 but imaginations, man, and ideologies, that's right. vain. That's right. It says verse this is all Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be, be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Hey, just like uh, how you call it, the back, uh, the days of Noah. Noah was prophesied for a hundred years or so, and the people looked at him as a crazy man. Oh, this ain't gonna happen. And if it does, it's not gonna happen when I'm when I'm still around, probably with my kids. Hey, all of that came to pass, man. You know, all of these things that are written in the scriptures that has been set up since the beginning, it's gonna come to pass, man. The Lord is not a man that he shall lie. Right. And it's so spiritual that all of this is happening at such a fast rate as well, because you that's how you know that we're in those last in those last days, man. Everything is moving quickly man it's hasty man it, hey this, these visions are speaking and you people are not gonna know what we're talking about until this dollar crashes man and even when the dollar crashes you people are still gonna bug out because y'all are gonna take that MOTB man mm. everything that the Lord prophesied uh, 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 is coming to pass man you see all you people are living comfortably but when that dollar crashes y'all people man y'all are gonna fucking lose it man we're not scared of that shit we're not scared of the dollar crash. We're actually clapping our hands. But guess what? These Edomites, they're scared, man. Hey, these people on CBS and Fox News and uh, so on and so forth that are covering this on the media, they're fucking scared, man. They're scared about the dollar crash. They're saying that if the dollar crashes, which it is, there's going to be the end of the American economy, man. You people are going to be broke. All these high-rise buildings and all the booming economy, hey, there's uh, people making jokes saying that, Oh, uh, their family from Mexico is gonna start sending them money. It's gonna fucking happen, man. Hey, Mexico just registered to join the BRICS. Oh, yeah. So that's something Brother Say is absolutely correct. So this thing goes down, and that's the Edomites are freaking out. The second is 15, and these things are gonna happen. This fire will move to all out the house. All right? Imagine when your dollar can't watch you, your kid is home and crying. Guess what? You go into your neighbor's house, get what he got. Man. Those days are upon us. You got a million before that finish. Right? And the reason why they don't believe in that, they always talk about it ain't going to happen in our lifetime because it's never happened. And they've never seen it. And they've been, they've been pacified to believe that it can never happen here. Just like in the days of Noah. Noah said that rain water will come from the sky and flood the earth. You were like, well, that's, well, that's crazy. That's never happened before. Water from the sky? What? Huh? They, don't, they, don't, they don't know that every empire uh, has fallen. All right? They didn't, they didn't expect Rome to fall. Rome failed. 
And Americans can fall in a likewise manner, man. Our people got caught up with that prophet spirit of uh, we got the strongest military, or we got the strongest economy. No, that shit is a lie, All right? Because it's This is Luke 17, 26. It says, and as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it also be in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they buried wives, they were given into marriage to the day Noah entered into the ark, the flood came and destroyed them all. Hey, it's funny because about like 10 minutes ago, I was thinking about this same scripture and then y'all mentioned it like a couple times because I saw the trolley, the party trolley yeah. that, was, that was just in front of us oh, yeah. and they were all dancing and all that shit. And I'm thinking like, and I literally listened to the brother talk about the, how the bricks having all these nations joining them and ain't nobody looking out for it and nobody cares and, and all that and they were just having a uh, gay old time on that trolley you know what i'm saying enjoying themselves man and i was thinking that i was like man they have no idea man you know what i mean like they they, they have they're anticipating that this will never happen here and, and, they're, and they're not even thinking about it why because this place all this place is going to do is give you bread and circus and you come to america you come here to prosper like all these people, they, they say we left our country to come here so we can do what we want. Uh, this is the place where we can become who we want to become. And then here you can become anything, man. Like the brother mentioned earlier, a woman could be a man, a man could be a woman, a child, could change his sex. They thought they're, trying, they're, they're fighting to make that okay. For you not to be able to tell your child that they can't change their sex, man. That's where we at in society. And now we're so bad in society that now they got trans motherfuckers getting weapons, taking revenge on, 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 on the planet, man. Yeah. On people who are stopping them for their rights. So here you can do what you want, man. Alright? Like in the days of Noah, they were all doing all kinds of matters of wickedness. Alright? It was justified that the Lord was gonna, gonna, gonna um, bring the rain and it flood this place, man. So they're giving in marriage right now, they're drinking, they're marrying, they're doing everything because they're not focusing on what's about to happen. But the prophets are here to tell them they don't want to listen. It says, likewise also, as it was the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Isn't this the place that spiritual Sodom in Egypt? Right. <laughs> and it's crazy because the op mentioned Rome, this place takes on the, the spirit of Rome. They, they got the pillars of Rome and the Washington Monument. And all the time that they got uh, sculptures of men in togas at the Supreme Court. You know what I'm saying? And this place is spiritually saw in Egypt on the back of the dollar, you got a pyramid, all right? And then in Latin, at the bottom, you got New World Order written under it. And they're, and they're saying that this is the New World Order that's happening right before our eyes, literally. Okay? This is spiritually Sodom in Egypt. Why? Because Sodom was destroyed for all that. The whole place, the whole earth was flooded for all manners of wickedness. And the Lord said, what? That he was going to bring fire on this earth, man. He, he was going gonna to bathe the earth in fire, man. Right? It's going to happen. Right? He already made a covenant that he would flood the earth again. But next time he said he's going to bring fire. It's gonna be a lake of fire, all right? You know, you've seen a lake, you've seen all the water, you've seen the water move, shifting. Imagine fire like that, man. It's gonna be so much death and fire here. The Lord said he's gonna, how he gonna plead with uh, all flesh? Through fire. So y'all gonna be swimming in fire, man. You think, you think, uh, you think those volcanoes ain't gonna erupt? And, and it ain't gonna be like lava like, 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 like heat all over the place, man. Yep. This place is gonna melt. Right. Hey. Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 25. It says, Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain, said the Lord, which destroy of all the earth, and I will stretch out my hand upon thee, and roll thee down from the rocks, and will make thee a burnt mountain. So you're gonna be a burnt mountain, man. Hey. You're gonna be a burnt mountain. You're gonna be a, uh, uh, 
gonna be a, a pavement full of this ash and this burnt. That's it. I just told you not this government. This represents the last kingdom for a purpose at the stand. You got people that's going to Jeremiah 51 saying that's not talking about America, man. What the fuck else is talking about? One day Babylon is Iraq. Was I right? Ain't people still over there? Yeah, yeah. Right, right, so yeah. where was that? So where is it talking about? It said uh, once Babylon was destroyed, nobody will ever be inhabited again, man. That's talking about America, future prophecy, man. All right? You dummies out there, man. You know, you know these people don't understand the Bible, and they don't believe. It. No, it's just a book of politics, man. Right? The way to gain money for the people it makes it sound deep. But the actual prophets, doing the blue. I got a precept. Uh, this is Isaiah 8 and 20. To the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. In them. They don't have that. They're not bringing out the true knowledge. We bringing out the law, which is to tell you to walk the right path, and the testimony, which are the facts. And then it's back to the word. We bringing out the word, man. They're not bringing it out. Yeah, guess what? The truth of the Bible. We don't need to bring out no, uh, no artifacts, really. Brothers do it for, you know, a little edification here and there. But really, the true believers don't need no artifacts, man. Hey, but, uh, who was that, Nathaniel? Yahweh shall walk up on him, he said, uh, uh, Israelite indeed. He said, Lord, he ain't need nothing else. Lord said, you believe me? That's why I said, I'm sitting under the tree. That's all they took? You're like, man, you gonna see better things than that, man. That's how you know the sheep gonna hear the Lord's voice. They don't need no gimmicks. They don't need none of that shit, man. All you gotta do is hear the truth and be like, you know what, I'm moving. This makes sense. That's all, that's all we need to worry, man. All right? Because when the Lord say, I should make you uh, uh, this is a men, then what's the bait? The word, man. All right, you know, that's why we out here handing out sandwiches. Uh, 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 get a car, brother, go. None of that shit, man. All we do is come out here and preach the word to two cherubs, man. And that the elect will hear it and be sealed, man. It's uh, John 10 and 27. Yeah. Let's start, start two verses up. Okay. John 10 and 25. Yeah, I will shy answered them, I told you, and ye believe not. The words that I do in my father's name, they they bear a witness of me. Hey, Yahweh Shai, right there, he said my father's name, Yahweh, which means he exists. Yahweh Shai name, he means he delivers. Right. Who? The two of the nation of Israel, man. Right. John 17, he said he manifested the name unto the disciples. Yeah. But you got uh, Israelite camps out here that say they don't know the name of the Heavenly Father, but all they has got Hebrew names. <laughs> wow. How the fuck did that work, man? All right? Them same false prophets that was back then, they back today, man. Go ahead, brother. Verse 26. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. Hey, everybody not of the sheep, man. Remember it said in Luke, it said this child is set up for the rise and the fall of me in Israel, man. The only ones that's going to rise with farm in Hebrew is the elect, and they're going to stay rising, man. But those that fall, those are not of the sheep, man. That's why you see people that come to the truth, they stay for a while, the number of joy, they tribulation come, and they fall out, man. Why? Because they were set up for that life. I also say, uh, I said, hey, child, today, the humble child is near in the Jesus. Yep. So, hey man, hey, like the brother said, how shy is for the rise and fall. All right, he, hey, a lot of people come to the truth, they fall out, now your ass marked for judgment. Yep. The truth. That's, and hey, guess what? That was the whole storyline the Lord wrote for him. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put you in captivity. You are gonna lose your heritage. I'm gonna wake your ass back up. Then I'm gonna make you fall out. And I'm gonna kill you. Damn. Damn. Just like this. So like the brother said, we don't need no gimmicks. All right, as soon as we heard the word, we believe, man. 
all right? You know, brothers bring out artifacts and different articles, you know, for, you know, fact's sake and truth's sake. But to be honest, we don't really need it. You know, it's just extra. All right? And just to back up what the, what the brother said, this is Mark 4 and 16. And these are they likewise, which are sown on the stony ground, who when they have heard the word, immediately receive it with gladness. They have no root in themselves, and so endure but for a time. Afterwards, when affliction or persecution arises for the word's sake, immediately they are offended. Now, these people have got a foundation. But you really gotta have faith in doing this work, period. People hear this girl, they got ulterior motives. I can make money with it. I can sell products with it. I can do it and sell t shirts and become a rapper and do all kind of other shit with it. But you really ain't here. Shut the faith of the spirit can help us in our shop. That's not your foundation. So, guess what? When the affliction arises, and you gotta lose things because of this truth, hey, your ass is gonna hit that dope. Oh, what did it say? Uh, curse be man who make a ball. Uh -oh. Curse be he that make bless his arm. This power, man. Hey, we supposed to lean on your heart by state. Hey, that's the point of the whole walk of the truth, man. It's to learn to lean on the Lord, man. That's right. Carry your cross at the Lord so that he with you, man. Help you, man. Because when the hard times come, you're going to remember, like, you know what? The Lord always been with me all this time. He done got me through this jam, got me through that jam. Me, the fix of the rights, he saved me out of them all. All these things will come to your man give you confidence, man. Like, he going to save me this time, too, man. But if you always been lean on somebody, and that right, somebody ain't your crust no more, it's like, hey, if you really believe the Lord, then let him cut this wrong. Then I want you to go do man. That's a dangerous game to play, just, you know, the elder said that, man. Hey, what the scripture say? You did he ever for a sake and just the Yeah. Hey, they going back to what you said. You want to be able to be like, I mean, the Lord got me out of this, the Lord got me out of that, it's the Lord. You walk by the Lord. What did King David do? Before he went out and fought the light. He said, the Lord delivered me out of, out of uh, yeah. off a bear or, or right. a lion and all that. Hey, man, and, and that's why he's there. Because every time I read that, I'm like, God damn. A bear, a lion, the Lord delivered you out of that. Like, why the fuck would he get scared in all that little scene anyway? He said, you was uncircumcised. <laughs> and and he dissed him. He dissed him. Because you, know you know what? The Lord not with that. That's why the scripture says, fear not the words of a sinful man. Right. The Lord not with these people, man. Right. They can talk all that shit, but we know the Lord not. Motherfuckers smoking a cigarette like, yeah, nigga, I get you. Like, man, the Lord not with you, man. Because <laughs> he said he faced against those that do wicked, man. That's confidence right there, man. That's why he said, fear not the words of a sinful man. I got you. Yep. This is uh, Second Ezra 2. And, uh, oh, he's a lot of second back. Yep. This is uh, 1 Maccabees, chapter 2, and verse 62. Fear not the words of a simple man, for his glory shall be done in words. Hey, and guess who the most simple man in the Bible? Esau, man. So no matter what Esau come to, because the elder mentioned earlier, we got to have our minds prepared for the day to come, man. That's, right. That's what we're supposed to be doing, man. While everybody else is partying and bullshitting, let them. But we want to know, hey, we're supposed to be getting our minds prepared for what's to come, man. Praying to the Lord, stand before the Lord, man. Because we know what time it is. So when they come on us, it's like, all right, we've been waiting on you. Lord, you got it, you know? That's our, that's our rock. That's yeah. our foundation. Yeah. You ain't trusting me, so guess what? This is Proverbs 25 and 19. Ooh, confidence in an unfaithful man in time of trouble is like a broken tooth and a foot out of joke. Hey, you can't do nothing with a broken tooth, man. You go try to eat your real ass apple. That motherfucker really bite shit. <laughs> hey, or you gotta put out a joint, walk with a dog with your ass, you old oh, shit. Man, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Shit, you out of there, bro. Why you gotta sing Dave's round like an old what you call him? Save and shit. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. Finish that with you. This is uh, verse Maccabees 2. And 60, uh, 60, I'm going to start at 61 if that's okay. Ah, shit. You can this read, is, the whole, read all that. That's my own chapter. Yeah, I'm going to say that. Yeah. Might as well. Might as well. You get number 10, bro. All right, time. This is, uh, <laughs> this is First Maccabees 2 and 50. Now, therefore, my sons, be ye zealous for the law and give your lives for the covenant of your fathers. Say, straight off the top, man. That goes for us, too. 
It says, be zealous for the law and give lambs for the covenant, man. Hey, don't you know that uh, one of the wars of the Maccabees, man? They were so zealous for the Lord. They didn't even regard their family or their wives, man. They said all they cared about was the, 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 uh, the temple, man. You know? Go ahead. It says, verse 51, call to remembrance what ex our fathers did in their time. See that? It said, call to remembrance. So rock 2 and 10. Why do you think all these things are written? That's what we're supposed to constantly read, man. That's right. Go back into them history. Remember the wars, man. The Lord did, hey, uh, uh, Maccabee said, there's just nothing for the Lord to swallow up many with a few. You don't need a big army, man. The Lord just took down many an army with 300 men. Hey, what are you telling me? Hey, those that, those that are uh, uh, drinking water, they ain't like, what's all I want? I don't need everybody. I don't, I don't want them to think that their number made them able to win this. That's it. Okay, he said, no, we don't put this number down to the point that they should get smarter. Then they gonna be dead. Hey. Uh, verse, verse, back in verse 51, call to remembrance what ex our fathers did in their time. So shall you receive great honor and an everlasting name. Hey, guess what? Hey, the elect will have an everlasting name in the kingdom, man. Yeah. Brothers got to remember that, man. This is legendary work the Lord allows us to do, man. The Lord will be continue. They will be reading about you in the kingdom. The true, uh, how they say, uh, uh, the true marvel heroes, man. Right, right. The elected nation of Israel, how they did mightily, man. Stood stiffly for the name of Yahweh Shah, man. And didn't fall to this beast for slave the dragon, man. Your kids gonna be reading about that generation on down the line, man. A forever name. We still read about King David. Right. People still talking about the flood and Moses, man. Come on, man. Go ahead. It says, Was not Abraham found faithful in temptation? And it was imputed unto him for righteousness? Hey, Abraham, hey, the Lord tried Abraham. He said, Give me your son. Man. And Abraham believed that the Lord was to bring his son back. So he was going to give it to the Lord and said, Now nah, I know you feel me, man. Raise, and guess what? Raise the blade yeah. himself. Yep. Ready to do it. And guess what? The Lord trying us. He said, Now you present your body as a living sacrifice, man. Now he trying us. Do you believe you're going to get a life later? You do. But to forsake this world and follow me then, man. With your whole heart. And you're going to get a hundredfold, man. That's truly faith right there, man. To put your life on pause and say, I'm going to wait for the Lord to raise me back up, man. So I can have it all, man. That's the precept right there. Uh, Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Hey, that's where our hope comes from, man. Where it said the scriptures said we have the Holy uh, Scriptures to comfort us, man. This is the comfort right here, the spirit that comes along with that book, man. That's why we constantly in it. That's our love letter, man. We get down in the spirit, go back to the love letter. Hey, what Stephen do when he was read, he was reading the riot act to them? He didn't even feel the pain that was coming on him at that time. So, like I said, if the Lord could do that for him, why wouldn't he do it for one of us? If, if when that time comes. That's right. And so back in uh back in 2 Maccabees 2 and 53. Joseph, in the time of his distress, kept the commandment and was made Lord of Egypt. Mm. Hey, hey, Joseph got tempted. Right, Old girl lied say he tried to come in here and have sex with him. He ran out of that butt ass naked, man. Got locked up. But the Lord took him out of jail and put him in a high position in Egypt, man. Number two. And then his own brothers turned on him. And guess what? Joseph having to understand the Lord gave him. He said, No, I'm not even mad at y'all. The Lord sent me before y'all. So I can say y'all in the family. Right. So he had great understanding, man. See, if you was emotional, he'd be like, man, fuck y'all, man. I was a little brother, man. Y'all get a nigga like that. He said, now I understand the plan of the most high, man. Which gives, which gives us hope too. Because sometimes the most high have us in a fucked up situation where it seemed like you was forsaken, but the whole time he set you up to do something else, to help something else, man. It's all according to his plan, man. Go ahead. It says, verse 54, Phineas, our father, in being zealous and fervent, obtained the covenant of an everlasting priesthood. Yep, and it's guess what? Phineas was so zealous, but y'all by Shema was shot, he put him in the death. Yep. Here it is, the Lord was slaying Israel, man, for going over. And you got uh, Israelites coming there with a heathen wife, 
going up in his tent. Everybody mourning and shit. He just took a, a spear, man. A javelin just went in there and just put both their ass to death, man. Now, the Howard said that appeased him, man. And he stopped killing Israel, man. That's how, hey, that's how we, hey, you would be so zealous. You put a motherfucker to death for the Lord, man. All right, go ahead, bro. Go ahead, I. It says, verse 55, Joshua, for fulfilling the word, was made a judge in Israel. Yep. Caleb for bearing witness. Now Joshua was right after Moses. Right. He was the one that led to the promised land, man. That's but right. he wasn't that deliverer. Right? Y'all was saying that name above every name, man. Right. He's the deliverer. Wow. He gonna take everybody to the kingdom, man. That's right. All the nation of Israel. And once he planned them there, they never come uh, out of there, man. That's right. That's right. right? It says Caleb for bearing witness before the congregation Received the heritage of the land. Caleb, man. Right? Caleb means dog. He was faithful. He was loyal. Him was and loyal. Joshua. Yep. Alright? When, when they went over there to spy out the land, everybody else came back with a weak ass support, man. They had another spirit. Yeah. Everybody else, like, man, ain't too tall, man. Ain't too big. And they came back, like, man, we can take these niggas, man. That's right. See? Hey, that's the spirit we got to be in right now, man. Call it acts of our forefathers, man. We already read that Esau go fall. Fuck, we scared of we're worried about. This man is gonna die. Esau's going to slavery. That's in the Bible, man. That's, That's right. The right. Law, man. These people, the Lord said this day coming is praying for the wicked, man. That's right. The righteous, man. All right, go ahead. It says, verse 57, David, for being merciful, possessed the throne of an everlasting kingdom. And guess what? We're merciful, hey. Merciful one to another. And yet he actually uh, 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 appeared Saul, man. And not just Saul, I think he also appeared as Yeah, yeah. That's about to make, they made a lead together. But uh, Joab crazy ass when he put him to death. And he, uh, you know, David cursed his whole, Joab his whole life, man. That's right. It says, right? so guess what? Israelites is cursing his day, man. That's right. Because uh, David was a, 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 a righteous man. They say a prayer of a righteous man pierced the clouds. Hey, you know what that Romans 11, he even said, let that uh, tent be made and stand in the trap for him, man. Right. So that's, that's why right. there's a lot of Israelites that come in the truth and fall out because they've been cursed. That's right. Well, hey, what did it say? That was supposed to be your welfare? Uh-uh. Can you get that? It's in Psalm 69. Because actually, we come in the truth, it's supposed to be for your well-being. But a lot of people that came in the truth, this is actually for your, for your downfall, your, man. Your condemnation. Damn. Yep, yep. Still right back in these lines to see that judgment. Yeah. This, this Psalm 69 and 22 says, Let their table become a snare before them. That's right. And and, and, your, and your table is this, is this Bible, man. It's Holy Bible. You can read that in uh, Proverbs, the ninth chapter. You know? So hey, this, this, this word has become a snare unto our people, man. You come up into the, you come into the truth, you believe me, y'all watch your mouth shot, and then you fall out. And now it says that it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. You trampled the, the sacrifice of your hollow shot underfoot. You thought that to be white, uh, you thought that to be worthless, man. What so, your hollow shot did to be worthless. Subject, subject it now to many stripes. Yeah. Yep. That's right. It says that which should have been for their welfare. Let the let it become a trap. Wow. So now this is a trap onto you, man. Dang. Now you trapped up, and now you are you. you it's no way for you to escape judgment from y'all about you now. No way. No way. Wow. Say what? Well, say uh, uh, you can escape my hand. Damn, God. What, what did it say? He, even though Esau saw it with tears, it wasn't it wasn't there for me anymore. Right. See, it was it was <laughs> I'm gonna say that's talking about that's talking about Israel. Esau right. has he been gone, man. Right. Hey, because we're going wisdom some in the tip top to talk about how your unrighteous walked away from wisdom. Right. Now Esau was told he came up to the house of Isaac. You know he knew the way of righteousness, but his ass it was evil in his heart, man. He was that one to share up, share up, uh, 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 that covered the whole world with wickedness, man. He was just born to be for wicked. But that's talking about wicked ass Israelites, man. That wake up, that's why you got a lot of fuck out. Yeah. This day in this day in this troop, but they don't know shit. They talking about they don't know the damn the Lord. They plan with the survival. Yeah. They use the they uh, uh use the congregation for money, extortion. 
ripped through all type of state, they monetizing, uh, 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 selling product. Hey, hey, they just come in the thing like it's a fucking uh, uh, free fall. You just turned the lower house into a, uh, what do you say, a man. Them same people are back. Count money. Hey, 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 they still, you still got camps teaching the MOTD or something else, man. At this point, it's like, bro, if you can't see it, the Lord clearly just ain't dealing with your ass, man. Every, every, all, the whole world is, is going, talking about going digital. Like, that's, every time you turn uh, the, the uh, video or uh, somebody reporting a dollar, they tell you that deep, deep globalization is going to bring deep dollar man. How clear is that, man? Like, oh, like what else you mean? Yeah. All, right, yeah. all, 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 all these type of comments, man. You're making the same calls, man. You know, you usually get another provision here, well, he, he's saying this, but he's saying that, we, but if we flip over here, you can get this. All of them are starting to say the same thing now. It's too clear. It's crystal fucking clear, man. You look at all the things, all the charts. Man, this shit is over with yeah. you. The crystal ball done spoke. <laughs> yeah. And this is a, uh, uh, like the Brother Elder Aviotic is saying, Dallas, this is a controlled demolition, man. They they know what they're doing, man. This is all part of the plan. They acting like, oh, this thing is for Oh, they controlling that shit, man. They just moving assets from one thing to another to get everything in one, little, one uh, place and say, all right, now go ahead and do it, y'all. They, they already ran a test run over one that uh Ukraine over there. Over there, they uh, they, they, they uh, had a report saying the whole reason that war they was running the, uh, a test trial on the uh, digital ID and all the uh, that was a test trial that set everything up. It's gonna make global anyway. Right. And see how it works. Like you said, a control demolition and whatnot. Like, like the builders, they gonna make it come in on itself. Because huh? every war is a fake war, man. Who controls it? The elites. That's it. The average Edom might know what the fuck is going on. It's we if we come out here and prophesy against the Edom. We talking about the elites, man. That's who in the background with the curtain, and the eyes. Right. They making all the calls and shit. You know. Hey, hey. Funny this war over here, funny Putin over here, funny no China over there. Control of the narrative. Yeah. Hey, right, like what was that? Wag the dog? Watch, watch, watch how we make this motherfucker say this. Say this. Damn. Damn. That's it. Because they at least run everything. They, they ain't never in the spotlight, man. They're in the background, just laughing and smiling. What's that? Uh, Michael, too? They said, uh, we get that. Yeah, cause, cause, that, cause years ago, like six years ago, seven years ago, we. We were doing all kinds of uh, 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 videos and whatnot on the Rothschilds and all this other kind of stuff. You go in there looking for them now, that shit don't even want to come up and whatnot. They, they put Bill Gates and, and Elon Musk as the, the wealthiest men on the planet and this, that, and that. The front, the front runners. How, how, how you going to be a, a, a billionaire, even if you got 20 or 30 billion dollars? How you gonna compare that to a motherfucker that back when I first came in, the truth was worth $700 trillion. It don't even matter now because they cut off the bat. That's it. All your plans has been um, exposed, exposed to the world. The thighs been bare. Everybody knows the, the, uh, the, Edom, the Edomites are the self-proclaimed white men, the damn devil. That's it. And nobody respects the West. Everybody joined the BRICS. They already teaming up saying, man, fuck that dollar. Hey, hey, as a matter of fact, like you said, they, they, Saudi done already signed off on it, and that was the one of the last strongholds that, that uh, 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 um, Henry Kissinger had negotiated to be able to support the American dollar by having to, buy, have, by having to go get uh, the American dollar to buy OPEC oil. Saudi done signed off on that. They said, man, we're going to use this wine with China, and your ass is out. So yeah, ain't not, there's nothing, there's nothing, literally right now, there is nothing holding the American dollar up, okay. except for the fucking belief of these fucking idiots out here. Okay. Even, uh, even every, everybody's coming against America, even Israel, man, because, hey, even uh, the president, uh, the prime minister, Netanyahu, 
said, uh, he told, he said to Biden to basically stay out of Israel's business, man. <laughs> you see? And this is a quote by Benjamin Netanyahu, and it says, America is a golden calf and we will suck it dry, chop it up and sell it off piece by piece until there's nothing left but the world's biggest welfare, welfare state that we will create and control. This is what we do to countries that we hate. We destroy them very slowly. Wow. And this is Benjamin Netanyahu, man. It, he said out of his own mouth, man, saying that they they literally created America to control it, man. This is gonna be the biggest welfare state, and all of y'all ass is gonna be on fucking welfare serving these niggas, man. That's one of the issue with that CBDC, man. Yeah. They got the Fed now coming out this summer, so they can instantly send your ass a payment, and they gonna tell your ass what you can spend on. Yeah. If you don't spend it quick enough, they gonna take the shit right out your account. Man. Yeah. Full body control leading into that chip. And just to add to the fire, uh, France is now getting natural gas from uh, China using the, the yuan, man. Skirting around the dollars. So that's France, man. Right? Those that's illegal in the Confederate. It's like fucking. Hey, what that, Matt? Uh, Revelation 17, ye so hate the horn. I burn our ass for fire, man. But, hey, the prophecy is coming. Hey, it stands supreme, man. You can't get around it, man. They, 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 they treat America like the prostitute they burn through now. God, I got that right. This Micah 2 and 1 says, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beings. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. And this is what these high elites do. Are right, these Rob Childs, man, these, these ones that's really ruining the world. Okay, these Illuminati's, the ones that's higher than them, those are the ones that's ruling this planet Earth, man. Those are the ones that's pushing out all these, all these laws, all right, crumbling the system systematically, day in and day out. Okay, they are the ones that's doing this, man. Yeah, not these people walking the street right now. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> the wrong child won't give me slavery too. Joe Six Black. Joe Six Black. Because they're they going to make all of them take the MOTB. That's it. This, hey, this, hey, that's in the power of their hands, man. They control this world. All right, since Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. All right, and, and, and Esau, he doesn't like to share with all his people. He want to, he's, he, he's going to be in that small little bubble, and he's going to hold everything to himself, man, to those small families. But I, I got one more verse. It says, and they come in fields and take them by violence. Oh, that's Esau for sure. Yeah, yeah. Man. Look, oh, look. It, uh, he used that sword like a motherfucker. Hey, I'm gonna use my blessing to the fullest. 8,900 8, garrisons all over the world. What not? What Malcolm used to say years ago? Hey, if you the hammer, everything looks like a nail to you. That nigga Esau killed every. He the Terminator, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's all he coming through. What, what it say? The thief will not but the steal, kill, and destroy. That's all he know, man. And if he come here, he don't do it right away. That's what he planned to do. That's why I say, uh, uh, say him not mind you, that's he, uh, over, uh, take you, man. That's what he saw doing in the state. All he know how to do is white motherfuckers, man. <laughs> man, see, don't, don't he come, uh, uh crouching and be You gotta always be, beware this devil, man. And like the brother said, this dude's a sword. He's a hammer to earth. All he know is kill, kill, kill. And if he ain't trying to kill, he's plotting on you to kill your ass later. Cause hey, he got a spirit. What they say? Uh, he, he uh, have a coup too. Yeah, he's not upright. Yeah, it's not upright. And he say he's never satisfied, man. Exactly. Uh, that nigga like hell, man. Hey, if he, if he, like he is hell. What that brother is the sixth chapter? Hey, if, <laughs> hey, if, if he do, if he do good, 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 if he do good, he wasn't trying. No, if he do good, it's just to get your ass just trapped. It's like that, it's like that motherfucking uh, booby trap, right? He put grass all over it. They put a carrot right there, like come here. Come here. <laughs> 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 it's silly, Robbie. It's silly, Robbie. Right? You make it suck. You doing something nice, but he set you up, man. It's silly, Robbie. <laughs> Smack, get his foot. Damn. Yeah. It's uh, Revelation six and four, and there went out another horse, and that that was red, and power was given to him, yep. that said they were on to take peace from the earth, yep. and that they should kill one another, and there was given unto him a great sword. Mm. Hey, so he sort of took, hey, he took peace from the earth, man. He's destroying everything. Hey, uh, he was blessed with the sword, so he's using it to his fullest, like the brothers are saying, man. 
And his motto is order out of chaos. Yeah. You know these Joe Six Pack, Peter Mike's going to riot. Yeah. They stand in the lift is about to go down. Yeah. He's a proud motherfucker walking around. Right. What's that dollar for Knox? He's no Jay don't know nothing about that. He always ain't mad shit. You got Joe Snow, Peter Mike's. Five hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand. Yeah. Yeah. That shit's gonna be gone. They gonna wake up. Use a fucking miner. Hey, a lot of them banks said they only gonna insure up to two hundred eighty thousand. You hear? They don't that. Yeah, yeah. You hear Shannon Stone complaining about a million dollars? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, if you got money in the bank, if you got twenty million in the bank right now. They telling people like, look, your no money is only insured up to two hundred fifty thousand. That means you gonna shit go right. Oh, you running through that shit. Right, right. Hey, 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 hey. The bank, the bank gonna be standing there. Uh, we're talking about money. Talk for sure. That's it. They gonna say your ass a computer screen like, it is in there, but you know. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is. No shit, just numbers. There ain't no money in there. Man. <laughs> but, but we, we, but we, but we reported this. Through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua years ago, that if everybody that had a bank account made a run on the bank to get their money, they didn't have enough credit money to get it. We said this years ago. They never got money. They always, you come in and get two, two months of uh, whatever amount, a high amount, then until you come back and dance. They got an order that. They got an order. As a matter of fact, it's funny you say that. They ain't never got no money. Hell. Uh oh, Fort Knox ain't got no gold. And, 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 I, and I got that firsthand from a motherfucker that worked that detail when he was in the military. Ain't shit over there. Ain't shit. That's us. That's us. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that's over there. This is the commodity. The sheep, the <laughs> this is the man, commodity. All the gold over the other side of the world, man. That's it. Wait, the butt in the basement of the manager? That's it. I got, uh, I got this quick quote by uh, one of these small heads. Uh, is you oh, right here, right here. I got it right here. Like, it's a, uh, this is a quote by Theodore Hertz. When and when you go look up Theodore Hertz, he's actually uh, he was one of those small hat lawyers, man. And on top of that, he was a Zionist, man. When you go into uh, what those Zionists believe, they believe basically uh, uh that the small hats are gonna take over the whole world, man. So they advocate for that. And this is what he said. It says the wealthy Jews rule the world. The fate of the governments lie in their hands. They start wars between countries, and when they wish, the governments make peace. When the wealthy Jews sing, the nations and their leaders dance along, and meanwhile, the Jews get richer. So everybody knows that, hey, these 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 uh, uh, um, these Amalekites, they're really the ones that are ruling the world, man. See, back then, when you would speak about the Illuminati, so on and so forth, it was a conspiracy theory, and this, that, and the third. But now it's on TV shows, now it's on Netflix shows, now it's everywhere, man. They're blatantly letting you know that they do rule the world, man. Even when the whole it's a lot of even when the whole thing with the Kanye happened, and that one actor that was a Jew, what did he say? He exposed himself, man. He said that all the Jews are in a group chat, and when they want to humiliate somebody, they just uh, choose who they want to humiliate. And then I don't know where this whole smear campaign happens on them, man. Well, it happened with Ice Cube, Kanye. Hey, it happened, it happened with Dave Chappelle. Uh, yeah. he, 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 he took his program, said, look, we don't, we don't do money, we don't do this up front. This way, boom, 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 and we'll split the profit. Man, they, they come back talking about $50 million because the fucking the program made a billion dollars. And they said, well, we said 50 50, so 500 million, we give you 50. By the time he touched back down out of California, back in uh, Ohio, and talk, they said he was a fucking lunatic. He got on a, he, a couple of days later, he was on a plane over and out just saying, fuck y'all. All that shit be a setup, too, man. Because Kanye West, dumbass, said some shit up. He said, watch the 21 jumps we made in Cuba, too. That shit, he a fucking joke. All they ask me set up, man. That shit like a, say, the world's a stage. They be paying their ass to do that dumbass. It's distractions. Right. But the dumbass people like to be entertained. Let's give them entertainment. They favorite rapper, Kanye, and listen to his crazy ass. He cut his hair all type of way. All that shit was an act, man. Now he back when it's, oh, who's that? Adidas? 
They said if they gonna fuck with him, now he can sign back up. Oh, that shit, nigga, it's taxes. Right, right. Don't believe none of that shit. Got, got Jay-Z with his head all jacked up. Yeah, fucking demon. <laughs> this is, uh, Jeremiah, Jeremiah 31 and 4. Jeremiah 31 and 22. And if thou say in thine heart, wherefore come these things upon me, for the greatness of thy iniquities are thy skirts discovered, and thy heels made bare. And so the Lord has put the spirit on his men to expose the uh, the, the Edomites, man, the uniques. All right, not only just us, we the bigger portion of it, but you got these whistleblowers, you got people all over on social media, starting with the prophets and themselves, themselves. They're, they're exposing you some, not a whole world, has realized that this devil is the true cancer of the earth. Right? All right. That's all I have. This Micah 2 and verse 2. It says, and they covet fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. And this is what this is what Esau does all the day long. I he took he takes away people's heritage, man. All right, tell them, hey, you, you gotta, you gotta civilize yourself. You gotta be like me. You gotta wear this suit and tie. All right, you got fucking uh, uh, um, goddamn uh, uh, the Chinese Moab. You got Amin, the Japanese, the Japanese man, dressing like Esau, putting on suit and ties, man. They taking away their heritage, took away our heritage, man. Okay, and he does all this by way of violence, man, destruction, violence. This is how you know that this man is the devil. That's right. This is the book of Genesis 27 and 38. And Esau said unto his father, Has thou but one blessing? My father, bless me, even me also, O oh my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. And by thy sword shalt thou live and shall serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. So Esau's blessing was a sword, man. This man is a conqueror. Alright, he comes and he comes to all these different nations and take and he and he forces his way by, by violence, man. This man does not take no for an answer. Alright, if you if you say no, he's gonna put a bullet in your head. Verse 13, a wrath, O Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. When he saw his the wicked, he's going to try to catch up in one verse 4. Right? As Edom says, we are in college, but we will return and build. He does the blessings. Thus said the Lord Yahweh folks, they shall build, but I will go down, and they shall call them the one of the wickedness. And the people against whom the Lord Yahweh have the connection forever. I'll show you who wicked it is, man. All right, who blessed the sword? And the brother just gave you the account when Isaac gave gave Esau his son the sword, man. And what he do? He want to run the world conquering every damn body, man. And he's still doing it today, man. By the way, it's America, man. And by the way, it's Russia and many other places, man. All right, this is John 10 and 10. The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. That's Esau, you know. That's Sam Ho. All right, how was shy though? I am come that they might have life, that they might have it more abundantly. Life is to see how we shine, man. He is the only way, man. You saw Edom, it is the harbinger of death. All those that follow him, they come to him, and they die, man. He's made his death stop. He's made his death stop. He's made his death stop, man. All right? Good job to make everybody life on earth a living hell, man. Hey, the earth is fucked up with the chemtrails, the garbage in the water, the chemicals. Hey, the food is fucked up, the food is full of drugs, man. You can't enjoy any fucking thing, man, by being under the up. Right. That's what the scripture talks about. If the Lord doesn't come back, no flesh shall be saved. Aren't we supposed to be in spring and everything still looks like hey, dead, man? It feels like it's fall. Right. right. This wisdom of Solomon 2 and 24. It says, Nevertheless, through the envy of the devil came death into the world, and they that do hold of his high do find it. So if you hold on to this devil, are you going to find death? Because that's all that he promotes. That's all he pushes. That's all that he's about is death, man. That's all he knows. That's, that's all he knows. Look at the planet Earth. In a, in a, in a death condition, you got animals uh, animals uh, killing themselves every day. You got animals killing themselves, man. You got bees with fucking cancer. That's his resolve. Extinct. Yeah. Yeah. There's turtles with herpes. Yeah, turtles.
hurts with hurts. And you got uh, millions of crabs just coming up dead. Okay, whales beaching themselves. Sharks and dolphins beaching themselves. And that birds falling out of the sky. Esau got fucking uh, 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 radio waves in the air and shit, man. Hey, that, uh, that, that derailment that happened with Ohio, all that, all that shit that went in the water, it killed all the little fishes, man. Yeah. Everything, man. It killed everything in the fucking water. And now there's people drinking that shit, man. You got to think about it because that's not the only derailment, man. There's been derailments all over America, man. And they're all uh, spilling chemicals, man. And you really think that this is a fucking coincidence? Right. Y'all people need to wake the fuck up, man. Right. 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 It's gonna get Proverbs 29 and 2. Proverbs 29 and 2. It says when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Hey, and Solomon was in power for 40 years. And that was, that's the easy house son. That's the prelude to the kingdom. All right, he was ruling the earth with the lost ex commandment. The whole world was at peace. Go ahead. It says, but when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. Hey, the people mourn and, and also the animals mourn. All right, we were just talking about how the derailments was fucking up the sea, but not only just physical, Esau has messed up the mind of the whole world. All right, hey, America has taken the doctrine of Babylon, Rome, Greece, all, hey, America is the most wicked of the wicked kingdoms, man. This is how you know he's the Edomite, all right, because he's the, this is, this is the worst kingdom, all right, he's the one in power, okay? Uh, this is Isaiah 14 and verse four says that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon, which is Esau Edom, man, the self-proclaimed white man. It says to say, how have the oppressor ceased, the golden city ceased, and this place must be ceased, man. This place must be destroyed by way of ICBM nuclear missile fire, leaving it neither root nor branch, right? Never being inhabited ever again, because this place is fucking filthy. Look at all the things that go on in, in, in America every single day. Right. All the wickedness that goes on in this place, man. Right. This place has to be destroyed. The bloodshed of the Israelites, yeah. you know? Hey, that's and, and, and the rulership of Esau Edom, man. This dude right. gotta fucking go, man. That's right. That's why when you go into Isaiah, the 47th uh, chapter, the Lord tells them, stand now in thy enchantments and the multitude of thy sorceries, man. Because in that day, like the brother just said, hey, right here in Babylon, this nigga has gathered together all the doctrines, man. Yeah. All the doctrines of the old world. This nigga got the Babylonian doctrine, the Roman doctrine, the Greece doctrine. This nigga's every. This nigga got everything, man. That's why when the Lord comes back, your ass is gonna be calling all these different gods. All these different gods. They're not gonna be able to save them. Right. Once I gave them up, gave them up to their lust, man. All these people coming to America to further prolong their wickedness, to back in their homeland, they can't do that shit, man. Right. Hey, hey, man, when this place gets destroyed, it gets destroyed. That's why all these other merchants, they're gonna be crying, man. All the money that they invested in this place, all the people that got in bed with the whore, man. And the whore is gonna be, is getting killed right in front of your eyes, man. This whore is being exposed right in front of your eyes, man. Her skirt is being lifted up, man. And everything is being exposed about Esau, man. That's why these niggas are ashamed. It says, uh, 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 the shameful spewing shall be uh, for your glory. Hey, these people are embarrassed of what they've done unto us, man. For what, hey, for what you have done unto uh, thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, man. Hey, this shame is covering them. These Edomites are are, are, are fucking ashamed, man. And that's why they got stuff like the, the, the critical race theory. Right. All right. When you not escape it, you pass, man. All right. right. So you say in Isaiah uh, 14 and 22, uh, slaughter. This is Isaiah 14 and verse 22. Put uh, 21, it says, prepare a slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor build the face of the world with cities. So Kai, yeah, the Lord is prepared slaughter for this man, for all the wickedness they has done on, in the planet Earth, man. The Lord say you quiet back of the which is past. Right. Ain't nobody escaping shit. Right. All right? That's why when brothers are going into the topic, uh, you know, uh, uh, our people saying, oh, this is not going to happen in our lifetime. Hey, it didn't happen in your past lifetime, but shit is happening now. All right? And, and you've been having uh, 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 lifetimes and lifetimes of warnings, man. So the Lord is going to fucking destroy you. Yeah, you said that, and what happened with the second Maccabee brother, man? Huh? Hey, the last brother, he said he's not hey, he's not going to happen in his lifetime with King Antiochus. All right, when he was putting to death all his brothers, he already knew he was going to die, man. But yeah, he was telling him, that hey, we're 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 going through this for our suffering, man, for our transgressions, our rebelliousness, man. That's why we're being punished as a whole nation. 
But just like how we're telling King Antiochus, but you have not escaped, man. Just like these heathens, man, they have not escaped. They thought they did, all right? But what is it saying, Galatians, uh, Galatians uh, 6 and 7? Be not deceived, for God is not mocked, for whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. So, hey, man, these heathens, they thought they got away with it, but the Lord remembers everything, man. All right? And that just shows you what a damn devil Esau is, because he tries to hide his history. The brothers are talking about how this... They, 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 that whole nation is a shame, man. And they should because the scriptures talk about uh, this Zechariah 1 and 15. I am very sore displeased with the heathen that are at ease. For I was but a little displeased and they helped forward the affliction. Some of you heathens really did some fucked up shit, man. Hey, and, and now you have a, a, the, a the internet is really fucking up these Edomites because information just flourishes, man. And then we, everybody sees what a tap, or what type of a damn devil you really are, all right? And what's the uh, the latest thing that I can think of is uh, th this lady, this girl who was called a uh, gypsy, right? Who was a uh, it was an Edomite who, in the face of the public, she was crippled, had all these diseases, but behind uh, but behind the scenes, she could walk. She has nothing wrong with her, man. All right, but hey, she they commit murder. These people commit murder, man. The people, you, hey, these heathens, they, they, they put on a mask. But they, they, behind that mask is a devil, man. Yeah. It says all nations. Uh, it says all nations have taken part of our sport. Hey, all the heathens either had us in captivity or they benefited some type of way of having us captivity, man. Finish that. Now, this is Isaiah 14 and 22. It says, For I will rise up against them, said Yahweh of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and remnant. And son and nephew said Yahweh. And who and who is connected with Babylon? Esau Edom. Right, according to Psalms 137. Alright, so this is talking about you, Esau. Your nephew, all right, your son, your remnant, your name is gonna be cut off in the planet Earth. You're gonna be destroyed, man. After your thousand years of slavery. After hey, your downfall of this kingdom, you're going into slavery. Then after your thousand years, you're going to be exterminated, man. Hey, thus said the book of Obadiah. Book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 41, verse 5. The children of sinners are a vulnerable children, and they that are conversant in the dwelling of the ungodly. That's Esau, man. He's profane, man. This dude's disgusting, man. He's all about bloodshed, he's all about pedophilia and all types of other wickedness, man. All right, verse 6. The inheritance of sinners, the children, shall perish, and their posterity shall have a perpetual reproach. And Esau is the biggest reproach in the world, man. Everybody knows you, you devil. Everybody knows you, you man. Everybody knows you, a murderer, man. Everybody knows you can have all the chaos that's going in this world, man. Everybody knows that, hey, you fucking up this earth, man. All right? Everybody knows that you fucked them over, man. All right? Now everything's going back upon your own damn head. All right? Verse 7. The children will to play of an ungodly father because they be, they shall be reproached for his sake. Hey, you, you, you. you like the brother brought up, man. Hey, you don't you don't get away with nothing, man. All right, you gonna pay for everything that you did, man. All right, and you are your forefathers, man. All right, you fucked up with the Israelites, man. The apple of the Lord's eye, man. You fucked up the whole earth, man. All right, you, you had us in captivity, man. And all you other nations benefited off of us in captivity, man. Now y'all gotta y'all gotta pay back coming for y'all, man. It's uh, Second Thessalonians one and six. See, it's a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that have troubled you. So it's a righteous thing to 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 get recompense, man. Recompense meaning payback, man. Those that have troubled us, man. Because all the heathens that had us in captivity, but you saw, you you didn't show mercy unto us. You did us, you did horrible shit unto us, man. Not only that, you thinking that you're gonna get away with it. Hey, I'm gonna get this quick. This all. Um, Zechariah 2 and 8. For thus say the Lord of hosts, after the glory he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you. For he that toucheth you toucheth the apple of his eye. You touch the Lord, how you call it, the apple of his eye, man. You touch his chosen people, man. You got to pay for that, man. Hey, and it just shows what, what a dumbass Esau is too, man, because all these traps that he set for our people, our nation, taking the father out of the house, giving women a empowerment, thinking that they can be above a man, now that's backfiring on them, man, all right? Now this is the book of Deuteronomy 30 and 7, 
and the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thy enemies and on them that hate thee or which persecuted thee. Because hey, the Lord is angry with us but for a little while. Like how it talks about in the second Maccabees, the seventh chapter, but yeah, he will be again with his servants, man. He's gonna be one day the Lord's gonna be back with the nation of Israel, and the heathens are gonna get their judgment, man. Alright, the scriptures talk about that that cup that they have filled, fill onto her double. Hey, no, hey, no mercy, and they're gonna just drink it, man. It's uh, Luke 11 and 50, that the blood of, of all the prophets, which was shed from the foundation of the world, may be required of this generation. From the blood of Abel unto the blood of Zacharias, which perished between the altar and the temple, wherever I see unto you, they shall be required of this generation. All right, this generation. All right, when they the outside, they're going to see that was the last day. And now we're in the last of the last days. All right, the Lord is going to require which was passed, all right, on this generation. All right, take Esau down, along with the two thirds. This is Isaiah 14 and verse 5. It says, Yahweh have broken the staff of the wicked and the, and the scepter of the rulers. All right, and, 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 that, and that represents a power, a power, your power, man. The Lord is going to break that. He's going to cast you down, as the brother read in uh, Psalm 17, chapter, and cast down the wicked. Esau, Edom, Malachi, one and four, man, you are the wicked. competition is gonna be a one-sided battle 100 percent of the way it's like a, a, a newborn baby fighting an mma fighter man <laughs> it's fucking over with your ass i got something real quick job chapter 20 you can bring it down job 20 and 4 knowest thou not this of old since man was placed upon earth that the triumphant of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. Right, so this has always been for, since the beginning of time. Right, that you wicked, you ruin the world of wickedness, and you're going to go down, man. No matter what, and this man is going down, no matter what happens. Verse, verse 6. When you think about it, like you said, it's been forever in, in, in this eon, in this time span. But what what is the amount of time that this wickedness has had a chance to flourish compared to eternity. A moment. Yeah. Job, Job 26. Though His Excellency mount up to the heavens and His head reach up to the clouds, yet He shall perish forever like His own dung. They which have seen Him shall say, Where is He? He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found, yet he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. Right? So even though you're at the top of the world right now, you got all this pride in your heart, hey, that's deceiving you, man. Because at the end of the day, you're going to be a dream, as, as the elder Pops went into. Hey, this is just for, just for a small moment compared to eternity. The, the Lord said what? I see Satan fall as lightning. Lightning is a quick strike. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. So hey, Esau, look how long he's been ruling. Hey, we, we're seeing the fulfillment of his blessing from Tennessee. And he been ruling a little bit over 500 years, man. But that's a short time. That ain't shit. All right? Because now the Lord is taking his ass down now, man. I think the height of his kingdom was about, what, 1940? Yeah. 1950s? Like good old happy days? Yeah, Those days over with, man. All right? Because right? guess what? The 60s came in. Late 60s, that's when Abba Bivens, the Lord raised Abba Bivens up. All the way down to the 70s. All the way to his present time, his ass been getting uh, uh, talked about, man. Right. Exposed. So now in a short amount of time, what, a little bit over 50 years, the truth went out? In a short amount of time, all that work he didn't did was that. That, that proved Malachi first time. Uh, 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 uh Peter Reed went in fourth. Okay. The Lord says he's he going to build. <laughs> yeah, he's going to take all this labor and work and build it. In a quick second, he said, the Lord said an hour. They're going to take the Lord one hour, literally, to destroy all this shit, man. The beast of mother destruction, man. He's gonna have a wave, a, a wave of fire just come through this bitch, man. <laughs> this is the book of Malachi, one and four. It says, "Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places." And guess, the guess what? The desolate they said we are impoverished. We're gonna build the desolate places, right? That all started with the Renaissance, the rebirth. That's right. That's right. That was the, that was the beginning of Esau coming back into power, man, from them caves. All right, go ahead. 
It says, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. And we see the building, man. All this Esau built off the backs of Israelites, man, which the Lord gonna require their blood, man. And it's written in Nahum, he said, I would not at all look with the wicked, man. Alright, the Lord requires their blood. It said, only by the hymn that said it can the land be cleansed, man. Go ahead. It says, the book, oh, it's lucky. But I will throw them, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the and the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. Y'all been told you that what's that uh was it Genesis? Where it said uh was it Exodus? It said uh you should have uh, war with Amalek from generation to generation, man. All the way from the beginning the Lord been at your ass, man. Ever since you put your hands on um, Abel, man, the Lord been wanting to get at you, man. You fucking murderer, man. That's why he said if anybody touch Cain, sevenfold will come upon him. Why he say that? The Lord like, nah, I'm holding this ass for me. Don't nobody else touch him, man. I'm gonna get him and all that. Why he said if he multiply, it's for the sword. Right. So the Lord let him build up, get a family, seeds, oh, uncles, all that. Oh, that's when he come through and fuck y'all up, man. Hey, hey, that, 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 hey, that's like, that's like the kingpin that says, hey, hey, his crew, Run through his whole group and bring that motherfucker to me. Yeah. Like, like the Lord is a man of war. Yeah. It's like you do, you, you want, you want that, that one fight with that one dude. Yeah. Don't, don't nobody touch him. That's yeah. it. Nobody touch him. Don't nobody touch him. Hey, by the movies, he, he's everybody fighting. Yeah, they, 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 they got that one dude. They like, yeah. Everybody walking through the crib and shit. He's mad. 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 <laughs> you! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Now, hey, you know, Lord got an owl, Esau, right? Hey, it said, uh, even he, he mentioned it in uh, Revelation. He said, and those that pierce me. Why did he have time right there? Let them motherfuckers know I'm that pierce I'm, I'm coming. getting them two motherfuckers. I'm going to get you. Let them know that. But claim that to their ass, too, man. That's how you know reincarnation is part of the Bible, man. Them two guys probably behind the military somewhere. I, I, absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Lord waiting on their ass, man. Absolutely. And, and, and since, hey, since, since they had enough authority to do that then, they're going to have a whole lot of authority right now. Yep. He's he going to want to be sure that, like I said, no, nah, ain't nobody between us, bro. Ain't yeah. nobody between us. It's me and you. Yeah. <laughs> and guess what? When they see you out with they're going to remember. Yep. They're going to put in their yep. mind yep. like, damn, yep. that's the limb. Yep. Cause remember it said, uh, they said, let the rocks fall, let the house from the raft of the limb, man. They're going to be scared as shit, man. All right? Uh, this is Exodus 17 and 16. For he said, because Yahweh will have sworn that Yahweh will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. He swore. The most high swear on something, man. He's going to come to pass, man. That's what it means he put his word above his name, man. He ain't going to break his word for nobody, not even himself. Hey, what did he say? Uh, he said, I said in my haste, they would never enter into my, uh, 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 the kingdom, my rest. He said it till they can't enter in, man. So he has to kill them all back in and when he said it, man. And guess what? Two thirds, they're going to enter in this time either, man. Because it was written on the elect going into this, man. What you have to say? Okay, since I could, I could spoil nothing greater than myself. Okay. I got some. This is Revelation 18 and 21. It says, And a mighty angel took up a stone, like a great meal stone, and that's going into those nuclear missiles, and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence, thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down. And shall be found no more with at all. Violence. I love that. We're violent. Yeah. Read that again. Uh -huh. We're violent. This Revelation 18 and 21. And a mighty angel took up a stone, like a great millstone. Now, an angel ain't actually taking up a millstone. All right, that's what John saw. It's parabolic. But Mrs. Uh -huh. are going to touch this bitch, man. The brain right? Yeah. God, it says, and cast it into the sea. Yep, the sea represents the people, man. Right. Hey, Lord, for the state, where it say my sword should be bathed in heaven. Yes. Hey, man, I'm talking about those missiles, the Lord missiles, man. Hey, America gonna be destroyed, man. Whether you like it or not. Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots. How is gonna be destroyed? And it says, say, thus with violence yep. shall that great city be thrown down. It said with violence, man. 
It says the scripture says the saints will take the kingdom, man. This ain't gonna be pleasant. This ain't gonna be pleasant to the people that's on the receiving end of this. They supposed to be. The Lord said he got a prescription for their ass. It's called pain. Right. It says it shall be found no more at all. Hey, this place ain't never gonna rise again, man. Right. Ever, ever, man. The biggest desert. People that know when they see this, like, damn, yeah. the power of heaven and earth did that. Yeah. They ain't never gonna rise up against the Hall of Bible Senior Senate Kingdom, man. But this is gonna happen to your land, man. And then the kingdom will come. The truth is gonna be pronounced. So ain't nobody gonna be trying to figure out. They're like, y'all yeah, believe in science and thought this and thought that? Okay, this, this is what America was. This is what it looked like. Look at the ge look at the ge geographically. Look at what it is now. Okay. This is Ezekiel th oh, 25 and 12. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, because that Eden had dwelt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and had greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, oh, does, what did the scripture say? He that seek revenge, so uh, get, uh, uh, so receive revenge from the Almighty, the Sirach man. Hey, the Lord got, hey, the Lord got a, a horrific judgment for Esau, man. And you, it's well deserved too, man. And, hey, you done fucked up the whole earth, man. The whole morale of this place is fucked up, man. All right? The Lord got something for you. And he coming for you. He told you to come out and tell your ass that, man. You done, you done pushed pedophilia. You done pushed bestiality. You done pushed all of the most abominable things. Hey, Pop, you were just going into that. Hey, America has taken the ideology of every people, man. And just mixed it all up and mushed it all together. And that's, it's the land of confusion. That's why it's a melting pot. It's a big ass melting pot with different nations, philosophies, do what you want to do. You can marry a tree, you can marry a light pole. What 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 did what, 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 what that Jeremiah, what he said about that pot? Scum on that pot. Yeah, it's scum, this place is scum, man. You like this place, you a scum bag. Go ahead. It says, verse 13, therefore thus saith the Lord Yahweh. I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom, and will cut off man and beast from it, yeah. and I will make it, and I will make it a desolate from Teman, and they of Dedan shall fall by the sword, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom right. by the hand of my people Israel. Read that again. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. The Lord said, His vengeance. Go ahead. By the hand of my people Israel. The Israelites, man. So, so hey, that's the that's the sword of the most high, man. He said, You are my battle axes and weapons of war. That's right. Take it out of my head. Go ahead. Take it out of my head. And they shall do and eat them according to my anger yep. and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, said the Lord Yahweh. Hey, guess what? The Lord's gonna put a spirit on 144,000, man. And they're gonna do wonderfully, man. Because they're gonna slice through people like butter, man. Ain't nobody gonna be able to stand against a, a, a play and say, keep it that up. They say once it takes a hundred, tens it takes a thousand, something like that. You can say that Israel shall do valiantly. Yeah. All right, and that, and that goes into a war. So if we, as the brother said, the saints shall take the kingdom. We're gonna do valiantly uh, against these Edomites, man. And, and, in, the, and in the time and the place that we're in right now, what's going on? We're meditating terror. Right. Okay, we're meditating terror. So guess what? We, hey. We're running that thing through our head, through our head, through our head. When we get the perfect bodies, the eye of our design, it's going to be like the fucking point guard that just stood there and crossed and, and got that ball so long that guess what? It's like part of him. <laughs> I, got, I got something. This is Isaiah 40 and verse 29. It says, He giveth power to the faith and to them that have no might. He increases strength. All right, the Lord said that, hey, uh, what the, the people of us shall be as David. All right, and and and, and um, the house of David as the angel before the Lord. Con, con. So we're gonna literally be an angelic force, man. 
All right, ripping this place in, in, into shreds, man. We're gonna be like Omni Man, Superman, right. Goku's, Right Burn, Right Burn, Indestructible. Nah, <laughs> yeah, we, we ain't gonna be able to feel no pain, no death, none of that, man. Do you read that, that last uh, verse again? This Isaiah 40 and 29. He giveth power to the faith and to them that have no might. He increases strength. He increases strength. Then it says Proverbs, he that increases the knowledge, increases the strength. The first uh, part of the power starts with the knowledge, man. This is spiritual power right here, knowing this word, man. Then he says in the, uh, the book of Acts, first you see the word, then get that power, man. It's a process to it, man. See, right now he's sent out the fishes. He said, go out there in the spirit and fish. But then the fish is going to be turned to hunters, man. All right? So we're going to be teaching for long, Lord, we'll be up that number, man. The men you see up there teaching in the terms of uh, fucking uh, Wolverines and Ultimate Warriors, man. Just start glowing, man. Right, right. Hey, your house shot is going to be delighted to judge you, man. It says, happy saw he be that dashes thy little ones yep. against the stones, man. Yep. So, hey, when your house shot comes back, he's going to take a delight in destroying this place, man. Yep. He's been waiting for this, man. It says the day of vengeance is in his heart. Right. It's in his inner man. It's his, he's thinking about it, man. So it's constantly on his mind. And he gonna put his spirit on the elect. That's right. So even the stuff that we can fathom ain't nowhere compared to what the most high count this man. Man, we got indignation, man. That's some righteous anger, man. See, the Lord, the anger that the Lord has is justified, man. It says furious, furious anger was not made for a man. You see? But guess what? Indignation, that's of the Lord, man. And the destruction that's about to come through your how Shem Yahweh Shai, through that anger. Y'all are not ready for that shit, man. Man, take a, take a little two-month-old baby and just... BAM! The Spirit of the Lord dare be on you, man. Yeah. No verse. Yeah, well, well, Face first with eyeballs and everything. What was that, though? Was that Pope Fiction when they took the baby in? Was that Pope Fiction when they took the baby and smashed? Nah, man. That was no, no, no. That was uh, 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 Pope Fiction. Yeah, that was Pope Fiction. That was Pope Fiction. That was Pope the Lord said, what he said in Ezekiel 9 4. He said, maids, young, old, young, maids, may, old, maids. He don't care, man. The Lord's gonna have respect for persons, man. Go ass is on that line to get next out, you get next out. He don't care how fat a bitch ass is. He don't care how much money a man get. Hey, ain't no way to get out this ass, this ass whooping, man. All right? I got him real quick. This is Deuteronomy 10 and 17. For the Lord your God is a God of gods and Lord of lords, a great God, a mighty and a terrible, which regardeth not persons, yes. nor taketh reward. Ooh. And the scripture says that the Lord is known by the judgment that he brings upon the heathen, man. See, the Lord is a terrible power, man. That's what you got to understand. Yahweh Shem Shai is the king of terrors, man. Hey, at one point in the history of the world, he was known as al man. A demon-like power, man. See, back then, when the Lord destroyed Egypt, his name was exalted throughout the whole world. Yeah. Right now, everybody forgot who the Lord was. But through Yahweh Shai, every knee is going to bow and every tongue is going to confess that Yahweh Bashim Shai is the true power, man. That we do have the true God, man. The true living power and that we do serve the true power of Yahweh. That we do, that this is the power of the Israelites, man. Yeah. See? How is that ain't gonna be uh, glorified, magnified, man? If you got people talking about we, we don't gotta serve you, how is that? But wait a minute, remember that uh, dude that had that demon on, the legion of the demons? Yeah. He came and worshipped you, how is that? How is that never told him to get up? Right. When you go and tell word worship in the Greek, it, it said magnified to kiss the hand in, uh, in reverence, man. But when, when the angel came at John, in Revelation 22, he said, nah, don't bow to me, praise the most high, man. So yeah, how was sad was an angel of superior rank, man. Oh, wait a minute. It says, it says to kiss the sun unless he be yep. angry. Yep. You know? And as a brother is willing to worship. You got to worship the sun, man. Boy, and you're going to perish in the way. You're going to die. And Luke, uh, Luke 9 and 27, bring here this letter before me. You don't want to bow to your house, Shai. You don't want to serve your house, Shai. You don't want to reverence your house, Shai. You're going to die, man. In okay. In the Spanish version, it says decapitate. Con. I like that. So bring head and you <laughs> chop your fucking head off. <laughs> hey, the scripture says when the Lord returns, every tongue shall confess and every knee shall bow. All 
right? That's a that's a that's a foreign a form of uh, abortion, man. Hey. You gotta bow down to somebody. Hey. Well in the national Yeah, call that. Oh. The, the, the Lord bringing a multitude of things to the table. Hey man, hey, every it's the scripture say every tongue shall confess and every knee gonna bow with the feet of Yahweh Shab, man. That's right. Because, hey, the Lord, Yahweh said, said, what? All power has been given to me in heaven and earth, man. That's when we come out here to confess. That's the, how you think we standing up here on our feet today, man? The sacrifice of Yahweh said. How you think we got this knowledge that we speak today? The sacrifice of Yahweh said, man. How do, we, how do we get all the breakdowns? You don't want to crack the seals. That's it. That's it, man. And that's what we'll forget, man. And that's when we come out here and tell you dumbass Israelites to repent. Because through his sacrifice, the door of mercy is now open That's for a right. limited time only, man. Right, right. Because guess what? You don't get it now. Your ass ain't going to get it. Hey, once he closed the door, right. there ain't, right. no eight and ain't no more uh, uh, repentance, ain't no mercy, ain't right. nothing for you, man. Straight judgment. You on the outside looking in, man. Hey, right. hey, hey. The, 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 this theater that, that this world is called, guess what? It's got a limited time engagement of Esau rulership. And it's coming to a close. That's it, man. All right? And in fact, the prophets are speaking. Go to serve you. Hey, we're the, in the credits right now, man. That's it. It's about to be lights out in this bitch, man. That's Everybody it. about to leave That's out. It. The, the, you know? the climactic battle. And, they go, and this ain't going to be like a Marvel movie where you're sitting around trying to see if there's a, a reprieve. No. Nah, ain't no, ain't no part two. Oh, ain't credit scene. Oh, ain't credit scene. This is the beginning and the end. This is it. That's it. Ain't no, ain't another wicked, another wicked scene when Esau gets a chance to bottle again. What? Hey, once this movie over, this bitch is closed out, sold out, destroyed. Ain't no more Babylon no more, man. That's the that no, those sequels, man. The only, the only new movie gonna be is Esau. The next part gonna be Esau and Cain. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna skip over the scene to hit the scene. Hey, Rick, that mark. Oh, yeah, this is a mark, Mike. Somebody can grab that song, too. What's that, 12? Uh, just this to prove that, hey, we gotta worship the house of Sam, man. Uh, hey, we glory in our Lord. Didn't he say in John 17? He said, I am glorified in them. All right? They said the elect will praise his holy name, man. Okay. So we know the name of the heavenly father and his son, man. Those are the names we're going to call upon the day of trouble, man. That's right. Even now. Okay. It says uh, Mark 5 and 6. But when he... The Psalms 2 and 12. It's the son, lest he be angry. Yep. And ye perish from the way when he when his wrath is kindled for a little, but a little, blessed are they that put their trust in him. Guess what? It said, blessed are they that put their trust in Yahweh Shai, man. He's the son, the only begotten son, man. And it said, kiss the son. Worship him, right? Get that in uh, Mark 5. Uh, this is all uh, Mark. Don't prove it, man. This, this is how you kiss the son. That's right. This is all uh, Mark 5 and 6. But when he saw Yahweh Shai afar off, he ran and worshiped him. Right, get that word worship. Now he's going to that man who had them legions on him, man. All them damn demons. A legion like them that's 6,800 6, or something like that. That man had a gang of them, and the Lord was talking to him like, who is he? He said, my name is Legion. Right. So that was a heavy demon, man. Go ahead. It's uh, the Greek word, proskineo, uh -huh. which means to kiss the hand to, to, to one in token of reverence. To kiss the hand of one in token of reverence. Go ahead. It says, among the Orientals, especially the Persians, fall upon the knees and touch the ground with the forehead as an expression of profound reverence yep. in the New Testament by kneeling or prostration to do homage to one or make ob obeisance, whether in order to express respect or to make supplication, right. use the homage to show men and beings of superior rank. Of superior rank, man. Y'all was sad the second under the Yahweh. Right. And it came with Colossus the first house that it was uh, pleased the most high in him to all fullness dwell, man. Hey, he placed everything under the house that feet. Right. right. Everything, man. Hey, what, what, did, what did that lady with the long hair do? She washed the house out feet with her hands? Yep. 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 Do away her glory, man. Yeah, that was the bro. spiritual part of it because the woman's hair is her glory. Uh, 
But for your help, says he cast away our glory to wipe his feet, man. Wow. And spiritually, that's us. We're throwing away our glory, man. Like, well, we don't have all glory to your help, man. Yeah, that's right. Not to where it says your songs, not unto, unto us, but unto you. All right? And it said our righteousness is filthy rags. Does that mean don't do the work? No, nah, that's what it mean. It just means that we, what we do is not good enough to get to the kingdom. We had to go through your house, man. By what? Obedience. Praise the him and being obedient to him, man. Read that, read that uh, other part. It says, uh, keep reading the uh, definition. Yep, yep. It says, uh, somebody get John 5 and 22. It says, uh, used to make homage. Yep. Used of homage shown to men in beings of superior rank yep. to the Jewish high priest. Wait a minute, so make your house sound superior rank? Right. Did he say all power was given to you? It's Matthew 28 and verse 18. It says the Yahweh Shai came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Come on, man. is the supreme ruler of, of, of all reality right now, man. Wait, right. wait, period. You can't get no plan in that. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, the Lord can't lie. He said he's saying yesterday, today, and forever, man. So it's still here in the heavens right now. Waiting to come back, man. Right. To destroy and slay, man. Right. It said the slain of the Lord shall be me, man. Right. Up to the horse's bridle, man. Right. Go ahead. Uh, just, right. a on that. Uh, just a moment. Just a little, little bit more. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It says, oh, yeah. Honor, it says uh, to the Jewish high priest, to God. To, hey, hey, he made the Lord a high priest. He a high priest in the heavens, man. Hey, he opened up the, for the prayers of the saints. Yep. Yeah. That's the offering, man. They say it's like an incense that comes up before the most high, man. That's why it's important to pray, man. I think it's in Revelation 8, Testament, the first or something like that, man. Yeah. It says, to heavenly beings and to demons. It says uh, also uh, a probable derivative of meaning to kiss like a dog licking licking his master's hand, to fall or to crouch. In other words, literally or figuratively, prostrate oneself in homage, do reverence to, adore, or worship. Hey, worship, man. Hey, so you pay homage to y'all with You actually bow down to him, man. Yes, let's get that John 5 and 22. This is John 5 and 22. For the Father judges no man, but but have committed all judgment unto the Son. That's the same thing Matthew said in 28. He said he committed all judgment over to the Son, man. You got it. There's some more that. This verse uh, 23. That, that all men shall honor the Son, right? Even as they have honored the, fa the Father. Uh -huh. He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father, which has sent him. So you gotta worship the Holy Spirit. So if you don't honor the order that the Most High set up, you don't honor the Heavenly Father. That's a cut to you Old Testament Israelites, man. Right. Because they don't even believe in the Holy Spirit. So guess what? You don't believe the Holy Spirit. That way it's condemned already, man. Right. You don't, nothing. You because you can't keep the law perfect, man. The Most High requires perfection. And the only one who perfected it was the Howard Sad, man. That's right. He, he came in simple flesh, and guess what? He did sin, man. That's right. And hey. we go, we fight the flesh all the time, man. That's right. The battles in our mind, we the shit we go through, man. Guess what? Howard Sad went through all that, man. And still came out flawless, man. Right. The scripture says in Revelation 5th chapter how he prevailed, man. Yeah. When we go into that word prevail, it goes to conquer, man. He said he defeated all his foes, man. He conquered death. It said the first were all uh, uh, risen from death, man. That's right? All right? That's yeah, keep reading that time some more. Uh, this is verse 24. Burly, burly, I say unto you, he that hear my word and believe, believeth on him that sent me have everlasting life yeah. and shall not come into con con condemnation. condemnation the water, but it is but it's passing from death unto life. And then you have a tell them that uh, John the sixth chapter. They said, uh, what's the will of the most high that we may work? He said, believe on him who he have sent. Believe my words, man. That's what we tell you to believe in. The help is sad, man. He opened the door for us, man. And we're supposed to come out here and pay homage to him for doing that, man. We're supposed to come out here in the freezing cold, the rain, all throughout the week, being brothers, Carrying our cross, all right? Do what we gotta do to show our appreciation to y'all with man. Cause we can't pay them back. 
He laid his life down. How can you put a price on that, man? Only thing you can do is just be obedient to him, man. It's show your appreciation, man. Skip was talking about uh, Thessalonians. He said, uh, in everything, give thanks. That's the will of the Heavenly Father through his son, man. And how shall I lay this life down for us? We gotta lay our life down for him. Yep. This is that we have to be made living sacrifices unto the Lord, man. Yep. This is no other prayer of love, my friend. Let me read that. God, I'm gonna butcher. I know John 15. I said, no other prayer of love, man. Y'all would say I saw the greatest love ever, man. They tell you in Romans the fifth time, they said some might even die. They said for a righteous man, still say might. Think about it, man. We got with seven. We were yet sinners. He went and uh, laid his life down, man. That's right. It is uh, John 15 and 13. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man laid down his life for his friends. Come on, man. Yeah. Y'all was sad did it first, man. All right? He trusted the most high that he was going to be raised back up, man. He was the first living sacrifice. And now we're following after his steps. The scripture said, uh, uh, we follow the lamb with us so wherever he go up, man. How do we do that? Following the prophecies, man. And this word, man. You got it, bro. Now this, this verse, Peter 4, 1. It says, for as much did as our Mashiach have suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that have suffered in the flesh have ceased from sin. So we have to walk in that, we have to walk in that same mindset that how the shot walks with. Okay, and no longer walking to the, to, to the, to the, I'm going to read it. Verse 2, it says that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh. Does that mean we got a short time? Once we get close to his truth, hey, you got, we got, what it say that he ain't run up that reader? Once we get this truth, that take off, man. Ain't no more looking back, man. It's all type of examples. They like, you have a shot, let me go um, say goodbye to my family. Let me go bury my, he said, man, let the dead bury the dead, man. Go teach the word, man. You'll see them later. Do what I told you to do. Right? Go ahead. It says, to the lust of men, but to the will of Yahweh. That's that's how we're supposed to be living our lives, man. To the to the will of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. Living uprightly to the best of our abilities. Alright, not living as, as these two-third niggas are doing, man. Living it up, having a good tab, or right, eating, drinking, giving them marriage. Okay, smoking weed, man. <laughs> And we ain't supposed to be doing none of that shit, man. We supposed to be living our lives solely to the wheel of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, hoping for the destruction of this place and the uprise of the nation of Israel. That's why I say, uh, wisdom is the principal thing. Where it said, with all that get, you get understanding. When you truly understand, Yahweh Shai, you like, damn, that's the reason I'm really here today. It said, let the, glory, the wise man glory in his wisdom, or the strong man glory in his might. It said, but let him that glory glory to this, that he understand and know what me. I'm the one that gave you the spirit, man. You're like, damn, but when you went into what he had to do for you, like, shit. That makes you want to do it, like, man, how can I, how can I repay you? You know what? You love me like that. Beat the sheep, man. That's what I want you to do for us. That's it. Go out there and just tell them, tell them to their face, but they here for them, man. That's what I want you to do. And how long do I do it? Tell to the man who made yes, that's something. Like, all right, boy, I'll do it. Never stop, man. That's all it is, bro. That was the mercy he just sold us. Because he could have left us in the world being bugged out with a helmet on with a uh, skateboard like that, man. Yeah. Look at bugged out and shit, man. <laughs> John, I'm just saying, me, you know, me and the brother Kadashi was talking about it earlier. You know, John, the book of John. All right, the sufferings that Yahweh Shad had to go through, man, he, had to, he got sped on. All right, he got smited, he got punched, man. All right, kicked around, got a, 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 door, a door crown put on his head, man. He got fucking just totally embarrassed, man. Man, this. Yeah. You got to go through all of that. And that and that really puts you in a sorrowful state of man. Like, yeah. and like the brother was saying, Lord, how, how can I pay you back? What can I do? i never fall out of the truth, man. That's right. No, Lord, Lord willing. That's the mindset right. that, that you're supposed yeah. to have, man. You know what? That, hey, that's where I say growing. It's it. Hey, when you in this truth, it's a scripture talking about uh, growing grace. When you grow in love, right? You go and hey, you start to check uh, check your ways more and more, man. Right. Then you start to understand, like, damn, you don't like this. You start to get better and better, man. You about to abound more and more, man. Right. Especially when you, just, hey, when you with that woman, you first know her. You don't really know her, but then you start to know her. Then you know her. Then you know her. Then you know her. Know her. It, it just keep levels of knowing her. Just like this. Did the love just grow that much stronger, man? Right. That's how it's supposed to be in this word, man. You can't be 
The person we was last year, we ain't never supposed to be on that same level, man. The person we was two weeks ago, we shouldn't be on that same level, man. All right? They talk about let every man be what? Fully persuaded, man. This is uh, Philippians 3 and 8. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but, but laws for the excellency of the knowledge of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, my Lord, through whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung that I may win Hamashiach and be found in this him. Said, hey, so we can win Yahweh Shai, man. Yes. Hey, Paul had hot after that. Paul was a Pharisee of the Pharisees, man. Right. Yep. Hey, Paul was a Pharisee of the Pharisees, man. But he threw all them heavy titles away to do what? Serve the house of man. Right. To the point people was like, Paul teach the house Right. Because he was putting the Jews to death. Right. They couldn't believe how bold he was out teaching the house of man. Right, right, right. You had other places, just like IUIC, he teach the law, the law, the law. The law, the law was not going to save us, man. Yeah, the law was good. But guess what? It's all through your house of man. Right. Through grace we are saved, man. Right. And you gotta understand how heavy this is, man, because before Paul, hey, he was called Saul, which meant it was desire, right? It was his desire to serve the Lord, do all those things. He was zealous for the law. He was uh, uh, even coming against the church, right? But then when Yahushai came to him, he said, why does thou keep against the prince? What did, hey, his name got changed to Paul, which means little, right? Small, which means what? He became the least. Uh, 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 of all the prophets, man. And guess what? He's the one that went the hardest for your outside, man. He lost everything, man. He got shipwrecked, bit by vipers, yeah, wow. everything, yeah. man. Yeah. You gotta think about this, man. And yeah. he's the one that went hardest for the Lord, man. And he said, I'm, he said, I'm behind the cheapest uh, apostles, man. Right. But half the New Testament is written by Paul. Right. You got it's like talking about they don't uh, on the Paul's right, man. But yeah, I was trying to actually kept them, man. He said, he said he's a chosen vessel. I'm gonna show him the thing that he must suffer in my name. Man. That's right. Hey, that's why we gotta be in the same mindset as Paul, man. Because Paul said he counted all things but done. Bro, Paul was so zealous, man. So like Paul was so zealous, he said, I wish y'all was like me. Right, right. He didn't even deal with no woman. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> But when you read the chapter, the reason he said that because he said, I want y'all to serve your house of without distraction, man. Right. Because all these things, a woman, the cares of this world, all they do is draw you away from the word, man. That's all he was trying to say. Like, look, I want you to stay focused. Because Paul said, I'm going to present you as a, uh, a taste nice bird to the Lord, man. Right. It says, uh, verse. He was like a good steward. Like, no. Nah. Right. You know, like, you know, uh, yeah. a, uh, a father keeps his daughter in straightly and nobody else popping. Well, spiritually, that's how the elders is. That's why it's no more working. It's like, right, stay right, busy. Right. So they want to present Damn. us to the Lord like she a taste person, man. Keep us in straight like a daughter, man. Damn. No, no, you got to work. You ain't got time. <laughs> you, you stay busy. You don't got time for that bullshit, man. Right. But when they say, he said, I don't just teach as much evil, man. Right. I got uh, verse 9. It says, Philippians 3 and 9. And be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, but that through it, but that which is through the faith of your house shy, that righteousness which is the righteousness which is of God by faith. So our righteousness is not gonna be through the law, man. It's not gonna be through you Old Testament nigga saying that you're gonna you're keeping the law and right. saying blah blah. That's not gonna deliver you, man. That's not your fucking righteousness, man. Right. Your righteousness is as filthy rags. Yeah. Our righteousness is through faith in your house shy, man. And yeah. guess what? Does that mean that faith? Uh, uh, it's gonna exclude the law. Right. Uh, uh, it says uh, Lord through faith. Yeah, right. Lord forbid. Uh, through faith we establish the law, right. man. Well, Galatians 3 and 11, for that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God, it is evident that the just shall live by faith. The law is not of faith, but the man that doeth it shall live in them. So we follow the laws and commandments, and we keep them to the best of our ability to do this faith. The faith in the name of the the law is not done away with. Right, the laws aren't going to save us, right? Again, we're like those rags. So by faith, we're trying, you see? The Lord sees that. We're covered through you, how we shot. Exactly. Hey, you got something? Book of Revelation chapter 3, yeah. verse 17. Because thou sayest, I am rich and increase with goods, and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable, and poor and blind and naked. Amen, you know? And we, we, we rich through the, we 
through this through this knowledge, man. Let's not just understand it, but but hey, man, you know we 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 in shit, man. All right, all right. No, all right. Actually, all right. we are something, man. We are something. Right, we, we, we are something. The Lord said we precious, man. Right. The Lord said we are uh, 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 well favored, man. Hey, what did it say? Oh, it said, oh, oh, remember that harlot? Uh, uh, not, not the harlot, but uh, Yahweh's mother. The angel came and said, Thou art well favored above all women. Well, guess what? Don't the Lord prepare us as uh, uh, 60, uh, Jeremiah 62? We've been well favored. Look at all the people that don't know the truth compared to who do have it, man. That's the hey, uh, Psalm 85 and 10, man. Mercy and truth is met together, man. This is the first part of the Lord's mercy right here, man. We gotta believe that, man. The Lord didn't come, hey, if you think, if you think in your mind, man, I'm just here because the Lord gonna kill you. You kind of lost already, man. That means to pray the Lord for more faith, man. We've been called for, uh, for victory, man. All right? There's no way we can teach this word and understand it without the Lord guiding us, man. Acknowledge that he gave it to my Paul say, why well, you got to receive it? We received it, man. So run with it, man. Right here is down payment. Yeah. Right. Right. right, we have his treasure and earth investments, man. Right. Hey, even your house shall be poor, man. He said, you have, re you have not revealed this word unto the wisest, but you have revealed it unto pain. Yeah. Hey, the Lord has revealed this word unto uh, unto babes, man. And yep. he's, he's using uh, the things which uh, the are... The foolish things of the world right. are found the wise, man. Hey, man, all, all, all y'all brothers, the Lord has called us, man. That's the how it says, said, no man can talk to me unless the Father talk to me, man. All right? Now, Lord, will we endure, but right now we have the truth, man. Praise the Lord for that, man. And, and the Lord will continue to be with Psalm 51, man. Pray he don't take the Holy Spirit from us, man. That's why I said, well, all that king get understanding, man. All right? Understand what you're a part of, man. Paul, hey, what did Peter say? He said, if you did it to make your calling and let you sure, man. He said, if you do these things, you shall never fall. This Proverbs 23 and 27. For as he thinketh in his heart, I said, so is he. I said, eat and drink, said he to thee. But his heart is not with thee. Yeah. So hey, wh wh whatever, whatever you think inside of your man, that's what you're gonna push out. Yeah. That's what that's what you're gonna produce, man. So we gotta we gotta think victory. Yeah. We can't think, oh man, I'm, I'm in this to lose. I'm losing. I ain't shit. No man, we yeah. we are something through the spirit power. Y'all about your mouth shut. That's it. We got a precious jewels of the Lord. We are we are in His elect, man. Yeah. Through faith. Yeah. And you gotta believe you. You gotta believe the Lord. You can make it. Yeah. You gotta believe it, man. Yeah, no, the Lord says I'm gonna give up men, uh, li men's lives for y'all, man. Yep, uh, ransom, uh, ransom, 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 yeah, yeah. Man, read these books. Uh, read. Uh, hey, cause no. you gotta be in the spirit of that, that woman. Right, right, right. That was just pushing her off like, nah, this ain't funny. Why was I get a bread to dogs? She humbled herself and said, even the dog eat the crumbs from the table. He said, I haven't seen much faith, great faith like that in Israel. He helped them, man. Yeah. Hey, you gotta be with this uh, the word importunity, man. Yep. You gotta constantly beg the Lord, man. Said, and what the uh, the unjust king say? He said, let me help this woman because he keep bugging. So that was more righteous king, man. He said, you being evil, you gotta give good gifts to your children. How much more the heavenly father? A man asked for bread, and we gonna give him a stone? Right, right, right. Come on, man. This is all uh, John 11 and 25. Your house shall send unto her. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whoso liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? So, hey, the Lord asked you, man, do you believe this? Do you truly believe that Yahweh Hashem Shai, even though we're dead, we will still live, man? Do you really believe that? Do you really believe Yahweh Hashem Shai could take you out the grave, man, if you die for this? Do you yeah. really believe that Yahweh Hashem Shai is going to deliver us out of this place, man? Do yeah. you really believe? You got to, hey, this, that's why the scripture says, examine yourself whether ye be in the truth. Yeah. Know ye not that Yahweh Shai is in you, yeah. except ye be reprobates. Yeah. Hey, the Lord, the Lord said without faith, it's impossible to please him, man. Right. Yeah. Hey, if you don't believe the Lord can do these miracles, like these other kids be talking about ain't no miracles, guess what? Ain't nothing going to happen for you in these days, man. He ain't, the Lord hate unbelievers. Right. Why did this hometown? It said because of their unbelief, man. Right. And before
for the Lord healed anybody. He said, do you believe I can do this thing? They say, yay, Lord. He said, go that way. Your faith made you old, man. And when you pray to the Lord, you got to believe that what you're praying for, you're going to receive it. Once you get up, you got to be like, I know I'm going to get it. The Lord is not man. Matter of fact, you get that? They say, uh, uh, wherever you ask in my name, believe it. That's the type of faith you got to have, man. As soon as you pray, you get up and say, I know the Lord will give it to me. I know I came in sincerity and asked the truth, man. He said, whatever you ask in my name, you shall receive. Believe me. I know it's in your gospel. This is uh, uh, Mark 11 and 23. I'm going to start off at Mark 11 and 23. This is going to get straight to the point. It's uh, 11, Mark 11 and 23. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Um, it says, uh, It said, not doubt in your heart, man. That's right. If you feel like you got doubt in your heart, pray your Lord, take that doubt away, man. Alright, go ahead. It says, verse 24, Therefore I say unto you, what things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them, and and ye shall have them. Come on, man, read that again. That's how I was saying speaking, right? Yep. It's a we know how it's sad, can't laugh, man. Read that again. It bro. says, Mark 11 and 24, Therefore I say unto you, what things soever you desire when you pray, believe that Believe that you receive them, and ye shall have them. That's, that's plain and simple, right? Yep. The Lord say, just believe that you're going to receive them, you're going to have it, man. That's simple, man. Y'all believe in the Lord? Yep. Sorry. Well, pray to him, man. Whatever you, hey, what you say? If you man like wisdom, hey, whatever you like here, pray to the Lord. I got, a, I got a quick testimony about that because it's so true, man. You really do got to pray to your Habashim Yahshai and believe in those prayers when you do, man. Because, they, hey, uh, uh, there was a little time period when I was driving my, my mom's car and stuff. She was on vacation, but when she came back, all I was thinking about in my mind, like, damn, what am I going to do? Like, now I got to get the car back. How am I going to get to work? How am I going to do this? How am I going to get a camp? I had all these doubts in my mind, but then I said, you know what? Let me pray to the Lord. So I started praying to the Lord. I started crying to the Lord. I started praying to him. And right in that moment, while I'm praying to him, my woman got a text message from her mom saying, your grandma wants to give you a card. In that yep. moment, while I'm praying to the Lord. Yep. Yep. And all I was thinking about in my mind, what am I going to do for a car? How am I going to get a camp? How am I going to get to class, work, blah, blah. But the Lord already knew before I even prayed, man. Yep. When it say, fear not that word of Jacob, I will help thee, man. Yeah. Hey, let's get that, man. Get that uh, for you want. Then whatever that y'all got left, bro. Call like a liar. Hey, man, if this truth don't get you pumped, man. Hey, man, it's the best thing the Lord ever did for us, man. And guess how? I, hey, the state, the, the elect state, uh, the hot is going. Uh, the states of the elect is going to rise in these days, man. Because that's going to be the number one currency on the earth. Faith, Faith man. Wow. Faith. That's how the elect don't eat faith, man. Y'all believe the Lord ran down, man? He can do it again. Look, 144. Man, call a lot. Come on, let's get it, bro. Come on, bro, man. Let's go. It's uh, Isaiah 41 and 14. You started at 10. Con, it says verse 10. How you got to get all that, bro? See it. Uh, Isaiah hey, 41 worried, and 10. No words of encouragement, man. Hey, when your words be low in the spirit, that's what you got to go back to them scriptures, man. Because those words are faithful and true, man. It's, like, it's a love letter, man. Every time you get down, you read about your love, like, you know what he said is going to happen. So, damn, the good times coming. Fuck, yeah. cheer you up, man. But we, we can't stay in that damn depression state too long. Man. You. you might have a couple of tears. You cry a little bit. Get it out. Get your ass up, like, you know what? Get back to the water, man. Fuck. Right. Get right back in it, man. It's like, it's like reading them letters you get from, from, uh, from jail. Somebody yeah. on, on, on the other side. Yeah. You're like, damn, man, I, I, I got hope. I'm going to get out of this yeah. room. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. They out there, they, they out there telling you. I can't wait for you to get yeah. out. Yeah, right. yeah. Wait yeah. You got a new cop for you. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. type of shit. Uh, <laughs> that give you hope, man. That's it. Right. You know, this, the Lord left, hey, he didn't leave us comfortless. That's right. He sent back the spirit that came along with his Bible, man. 
And now we see it like, damn, this is bad. When it say until I came to the sanctuary of the Lord, then I understood there is. Now we understand like, oh, this is all the plan from the beginning. You just want to kill Esau ass. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. You want to punish us and raise us up, just to fuck Esau up in the end and raise us back to, to, make, to make the latter house greater than the first. And, 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 and show us what it takes to rule. Yep. Righteous rule. If we had to learn both sides, now we truly are gods, man. Because now we know both sides. And we can judge righteousness, man. That's and right. we had experience in it. Absolutely. This is uh, Isaiah 41 and 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. Yep. I will strengthen thee. Hey, Y'all about to see now shine is our power, man. And we are Israelites, man. That's right. That's a fact, man. Yahweh was the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shad, the name is only begotten Son, our Lord, King, and Savior. That's a fact, man. All right, go ahead. I will strengthen thee, huh? yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. And guess who the right hand is? Yahweh Shad, man. Oh, when I read that scripture, man, say I will hold you with that right hand. I always imagine like a little baby when he be walking. He yeah. might slip a little bit, but he got his hand like, oh, I got yeah, you. Yeah, I got you. He pick it back up, he pick it up his knee. I, I imagine that, man. I can see that, man. That's the help of the shot, help of the elect. When it's right. in Psalm 37, even though he fall, he should not be utterly cast down. For I will uphold him with my right. hand, man. Come on, man. Go ahead. It says, verse 11, Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. Yep. They shall be as nothing, and they shall, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Hey, everybody that came up against us, man, they going to get it, man. Me. Everybody, it said each and every, it said what that, Jeremiah 30 and 16, mm -hmm. all, all your oppressors, man, every one of them are going to captivity, man. man. It said uh, from the righteous way A to Z, from the righteous way A to Zacharias, man. All, all the Israelites that came up against the elect didn't, didn't get it, man. They'll be cool and kid on this side to an enemy, man. You got to get the judgment of a heathen. <laughs> Go ahead. It says, uh, verse 12, thou shalt not seek them. And sh thou shalt seek them and shall not find them, yep. even them that contended with thee. They that war against thee shall be as nothing as a as a and as a thing of naught. For I, the Lord, thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. It says, Fear not, thou warm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. That's the house shy, man. The house shy is the one that's uh, uh, ultimately uh, holding us uh, uh, by the hand, man, guiding us. Hey, that's why it says in Exodus, uh, 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 I will raise thee up a prophet, and you shall listen to him. Hey, that's the house shy, man. We're supposed to be listening to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, man. Following at Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Hey, the scripture say, if you love me, keep my commandments. You see, so Yahweh Shai didn't put a hard mission on us. He said, my yoke is light. My burden is not heavy. He said, my burden is yes. easy, my yoke is light. That's I'm, right. The law is not grievous. So, hey, there you have it, man. See, what the Lord uh, what the Lord God is doing, it says, uh, all ye that that, are, that labor and are heavy laden, come, come, come learn of us. me, man. You come see, rest. come learn of me. Why? Because there's comfort in your house, shy, man. Yeah. There's comfort in knowing that we have a Savior. Somebody that's going to deliver us out this place. That this isn't the end-all, be-all, man. Right. That we don't got to fucking wake up at 3 in the morning every day to go to work. Yeah, deal with these man. fucking stupid-ass bitches, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. Fucking you, car notes you and say bullshit. wake up, try being there at 3 o'clock. <laughs> hey, the Lord didn't lay a whole burden of law on us, man. He just said, look, forsake this world and go teach the word. That's it. And you're going to get a hundredfold. And we got to believe that, man. That's all he said do. Teach the word, be a brother, and live the truth, man. And keep doing it. Keep doing it till I come back, man. That's why I say, blessed is he. Uh, uh, when, when the Lord come back, he found him so doing, man. Blessed is he to keep his garment. Yeah. All right? What's keeping the garment? The truth directly and correctly, man. Right. So Yahweh say is our Lord, man. Right. Go ahead, close it out. Okay, so with that. Lord willing, this is a edifying lesson. We want to give our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, Titus of truth. Shalom and Abba Babal. Abba Babal.